Julian Assange tweets out cryptic uh, chess game one day after receiving Ecuadorian citizenship by Christina Layla for the Gateway Pundit.com. WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange tweeted out a picture of a safe, quote, white king chess match one day after he received Ecuadorian citizenship. Zero Hedge describes the chess game as a famous 1918 chess match in which a Cuban chess master Jose Raul Capablanca defeated U.S. champion Frank Marshall using a pawn. Julian Assange set uh, Twitter ablaze after he tweeted out this cryptic chess game on Friday. Via Zero Hedge, the move which Assange tweets can be seen below as approximately 714, which the narrator says, and the uh, White King is finally feeling safe. Others pointed out Kappa Blanca's name translates to White Hat which is another way to refer to ethical or above-board computer hackers. In contrast, Black Hat would refer to unethical hackers. Okay, because I don't know too much about chess. B tweets out, white what has next move. Okay, Kappa is hat, Blanca is white. Kappa Blanca versus Marshall, 1918. Okay, on Wednesday, Julian Assange tweeted a photo of himself wearing an Ecuadorian soccer jersey amid reports that he was granted a passport from the nation on December 21st. Rumors and speculation from conspiracy theorists have been swirling since the tweet, including people falsely claiming that Assange has left the embassy. A WikiLeaks legal source close to the publisher told the Gateway Pundit on Tuesday morning that not only are these claims false, the political persecution of WikiLeaks has ramped up substantially. Update, the Gateway Pundit contributor Cassandra Fairbanks found this. Assange tweeted out a move from a historic 1918 chess match considered one of the best of all time. Take a quick look at this. About 7.14. And the White King is finally feeling safe. Bishop to F2. And the White King is finally feeling safe. Bishop to F2. Queen to F3. Queen to G1. Bishop to d5, c5, pawn takes pawn on c5, bishop takes on c5, b4 attacking bishop, bishop to d6, a4, sleeping rook will now become a powerful piece, a5, Pawn takes pawn on b5. Pawn takes pawn on b4. Rook to a6 attacking bishop on d6. Pawn takes pawn on c3. Knight takes on c3. And all of the white pieces are now developed. Bishop to b4. b6. Pass pawn is on the 6th rank now. Bishop takes knight. Bishop takes bishop, h6, b7, rook to e3, attacking white queen. It is white to move in this position. Capablanca played a move and Marsha resigned. What would you play in this position if you had white pieces? 
Capablanca paid, Bishop takes pawn on f7, and Marshal resigned in view of this continuation. Rook takes bishop, pawn to b8, queen check, king to h7, rook takes pawn on h6, check, king takes rook, queen to h8, check, king to g5, and there is checkmate in one. Can you see it? Queen to h5, check, mate. What about if king goes to h7? Is that better? Then queen to f5, check. And after king to h8, rook takes pawn on h6, check, mate. Pawn on g7 is pinned. And just one more. What about king to h8? How would you continue now? Rook takes pawn on h6. Check. Mate. The story goes that Marshall was keeping this opening in secret for nearly 10 years, saving it for this day. We have to give credit to Capablanca, who brilliantly defended against this strong and prepared attack. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I've that was interesting. I don't know uh, anything about chess, but this is a very interesting tweet. If anybody of you guys understands what he means by this, uh, let me know in the comments below. And again, uh, thank you so much for watching.